What's going on guys? Here we are in a game called Snow Runners. Looks like right now we at the start we got ourselves a nice little truck going on. Um let's just follow the directions and let's see. Looks like we're going to the watchtower right now. Your first move should always be to scout new areas. Press to open the map. The watchtower looks to be up over here. So looks like we can set a waypoint on it. Let's back out of this. Alright, start this up, release the handbrake, and let's head over that way. Driving in low gear, so it looks like we're going into some mud. Probably should put in some low gear real quick. Get through this. The mud physics in this game is really, really good. It looks like we're just kind of plowing on through this right now. I'm sure as we advance, four wheel drive, hold that, and then press X to activate. So let's start with the four wheel drive, make it a little easier. There we go. Now, like I was saying, the mud physics in this game is really good. I'm sure as we advance a little on in this game, it'll kind of get harder. Some of the harder uh, mud areas to get into. Uh, we'll see kind of what that looks like right now. We're just kind of going to that little search glass over there. Make our way there, find the watchtower. And I do believe once you hit the watchtowers, it will make. It'll open up the map a little bit. We'll be able to look into it, kind of see some of the objectives that are coming up, stuff like that. Take it out of low gear right now. Just go a little quicker once you do that. Doesn't look like there's too much mud. This thing kind of likes to get sideways here, so whoa, shit. Keep her under control. And now we're on concrete. We can probably put her into two wheel drive, save some of that gas a little bit. Looks like we kind of want to go this way. These cars are really hard to steer. Jesus. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get back under control. There we go. Looks like right here we come up to a little crossroad. We have a decision. We need to go through or go detour. Looks like we're going to take this detour right here. Pop it in low, put four wheel drive on because it looks like it's going to get a little muddy. Ooh, yep, a little muddy. Wiggle our way out here. Starting to slow down a little bit. From my understanding of this game, though, you kind of are able to upgrade your vehicles a little bit and be able to kind of advance, put bigger tires on them, depending on what you're going through. Obviously, it's snow runner, so we'll probably enter some snowy terrains on some different mountains uh, after we do these types of missions just kind of in this beginning one and then once this beginning one's done then we'll go over there and probably get into some of the harder missions some of the more advanced vehicles over there so right now it looks like we're just stuck on this michigan map kind of going through it and going through some of this mud here i'll be it'll be interesting to see kind of the mud and all that stuff or not the mud, the snow that we'll be getting into once we get to those different mountains. See how different that interacts compared to this mud. Looks like we're kind of going through this. Probably put it in any, get out of that low gear, kind of get a, get ourselves, make ourselves go a little quicker. Right now you can see the watchtower over in the distance over there. Kind of looks like that's where we need to be headed. So I'm backtrack here. Oh, maybe not back. Yeah, there we go. Backtrack and then go through this mud right here. Just kind of stay to the side of it. Uh, those fuel stations right there. Oh shit. Okay. Let's put it in a low gear. Accidentally sunk down in that mud. But th nothing this thing can't handle. Just crawl right on out of it. Uh, we're out of it. Switch back. These type of games I really like. You can just kind of play, cruise a little bit, uh, have a little bit of fun, get stuck in some mud. So it looks like we're here at the watchtower now. Let's see what we do now. So we go into the zone. Okay. Watchtower discovered. Discovering watchtowers will reveal, part, reveal parts of the map. To repair the bridge, you'll need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map to look at your surroundings. Find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. So it looks like our next step is finding a truck that can repair the bridge. So it looks like there's a truck right here that we'll be going to get to. Then we need to go to the lumber mill. What bridge? Looks like we're probably going to repair this bridge right here. Marking this road up, kind of our travel way, so that way we don't forget where we're going. Come up here, then we'll 
to be up over that truck. So let's go over that way. Staying in four wheel drive for now. Uh, still kind of a muddy area. Just want to make sure that we'll be able to make it through and we won't sink down. As you see, those little blue circles are kind of the objectives that I just set up. So you go through those and they disappear and then it shows you the next one you set up. Uh, really helpful you can plan your whole route using that so that way you don't get lost because it's not like other games where you kind of have a nice little mini map that you can put up and then that mini map will show you the exact like most precise route you can take this game you can kind of choose your route depending on what you want to do if you want to get into some trouble or if you want to just kind of stay on some roads and make it easy for yourself looks like we're climbing here that appears to be the truck that they want us to get, so let's go over here and see what we can do. Truck discovery, you found your first highway truck. This truck is designed for roads, so there are no off-road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive in the deep mud with it. You'll find out more about different types of trucks and the codex available from the menu. Good, it's not the best truck for the job, but it will have to do. The company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find contracts like this one in the map menu. So it looks like that's, yep, like I said, that's the bridge that they want us to build, so we'll activate that. So it looks like they want us to drive up here to this town storage right here, and then we will go, after that, we'll go down to the old bridge and build that bridge up. So we'll start from here, work our way up, go over here, follow this road, cut up, turn, continue down here, and then we'll be there. And once we hit there, we'll then set a markers all the way down to here. Start this bad boy up, release the handbrake, and let's get going. Sharp turn here, let's try not to get stuck. Oh god, this, fish, this thing is heavy. Wide turn, knock down all these trees. Keep going. Don't get stuck, come on. There we go. Alright, let's continue down this road not get stuck and go to the old bridge reconstruction. This thing got a little bit of speed to it. Kind of hard to control. Slow down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh shit. No, okay. Back up out there. Looks like, yeah, let me just load this up. Close this and let's go and mark our little way down to the bridge. And then now we just kind of follow this road, probably going to stop right in here to get some fuel. Um, and then we'll go, keep going, and then end up at the old bridge where we need to be. Turn out of here. Okay, well, we can't just go through things in this game. We've got to, got to, got to take these turns a little bit wider. There we go, now we made it. Got a trailer over here, you can pick those up. Um, I won't pick it up now, I'll come back later and pick it up. Oh, watch out for that. Oh, shit. Yeah, these things are really, really hard to control. Okay. Alright. So this game is very unforgiving. You hit the tiniest thing and you're taking a lot of damage. So you gotta be really careful. Uh, kinda make sure you're driving slow. You don't wanna be going super fast. Uh, this is definitely not a game where you can just hold the trigger down and go as fast as you want. You gotta take it slow, keep the vehicle under control. Uh, stop here, get some gas while we're here. Pull over here real quick. Fuel station. Sure, refuel. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna test my luck and try and go through this. We're in a little bit of a bigger vehicle. So, hammer down, pluck that, let's go. Make it through, big fish. Come on. Oh, that wasn't that hard. Keep her pushing all the way to the bridge, and then we'll build that. All right, so we made it here to the bridge. We'll turn in here. Nice and easy. Make sure not to hit those. And now we'll come up here and see how they want us to build this bridge. Pull into here real quick. All right, and go to cargo management. Hit unload. Nice little cutscene they have going of the bridge being done. Stage completed. Bridge is on its way, but it's not there yet. You should deliver another portion of cargo. 
All right, so it looks like we're headed back to get another portion of cargo. So it looks like we gotta go to the lumber mill now, get stuff from there, and then going down this way to the lumber mill. It's gonna be a little sketchy in a two-wheel drive truck that's this heavy, but hopefully there's not that much mud and we'll be able to go through perfectly fine. There's a little bit of water right here. Let's make sure we can go through this fine. Let's see, is there any good approaches to this? Kind of looks like maybe staying up over this way would be our best option. Oh, too far, too far. No, no, no. Okay, maybe that wasn't our best option. Well, it looks like we're going to activate our winch. All right, now that we got our winch attached in, pull it in. Release the handbrake. Keep her pulling. Almost. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now we're going to release the winch. All right, we made it out of there. A little hectic, but we got her figured out. And that's what happens when you take shortcuts in this game. We'll end up getting screwed over at the end of it. But let's keep on pushing through and get to the sawmill. All right, guys, looks like we made it to the sawmill. Looks like we're going to have to back up and attach this trailer right here. So let's get lined up for this. Uh, now this back up. Looks like there's some mud here. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, yeah. Maybe we won't be going in here. Come on, get out. Find ourselves low gear. Get yeah. out. All right. Uh, I'm going to try and go to the side a little bit more. See if that helps. Come on, bro. You got it. I'm just going to get this thing buried if I keep trying it. And looks like we're stuck. So let's connect winch and let's pull out. Release the winch. Oh, we'll have to come back to that. Let's see how many planks we can load up in this. Looks like we can load up two. Alright, now let's go deliver these to that. So it looks like we're not quite ready to get that trailer yet. Uh, later down the line, once we have a better vehicle, we'll come back and grab it. But for now, we're just gonna go on back to the bridge and let's finish building it up. All right guys, so we're back at the bridge now. Time to offload some of this cargo and finish building this bridge. See what the next contract they have for us is going to be. Don't know where they got the pavement to make it, but I guess the paver just came through and paved it uh, after we put the wood on there. So it looks like our next little thing we gotta do is find the garage, which I'm guessing somewhere beyond this bridge. Looks like there's a tower right here. So we'll go activate this tower right here and then see, uh, what, see what else they got us going after that. Hopefully that'll kind of help us out a little bit, kind of see where we're going. Got ourselves stuck in some mud here, so we're just winching ourselves out. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more hectic than I thought it was going to be. So hopefully we'll be able to get through this. Gosh, this is some thick mud. Maybe I, maybe I just stick to the main road for now. Uh, come back for that watchtower later once I have the scout. So uh, looks like we got ourselves out of this mud. Hopefully this girl can get back to the main road. It looks like we've got to turn this way and then turn right once we hit the main road to get back on track. It looks like we got something that fell over right here, so we're gonna have to figure out a way around it. Looks like we might just be able to go around this way. Do something like this. Maybe not. All right, so after some problems with that last truck, we come back, switch to our little K10, um, switch to our K10, and now we're gonna try and see what we can get into with this. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit easier. This thing's more meant for the mud and going through all that stuff. So we're gonna go back, try it again, try and make our way to that garage. And after that, we will see what other tasks it'll have us trying to complete. So you're getting stuck in this mud so much easier when you got four wheel drive. You just flick her in and ready to keep on going pushing through this. This little mud right here doesn't really stand a chance against the four wheel drive of this truck. Um, now it looks like we're about to hit this little soft stuff so we'll change it to two wheel drive. I'm pretty sure we're getting pretty close to that garage. Looks like there's another truck stuck out there. I think that's one of the recovery missions that they have. 
I don't think that's going to be a truck that we're going to be able to keep, but we'll look at it once we get to the garage. Looks like we're getting pretty close to our garage over there, so I'll see you guys whenever we get on over there. Alright guys, so it looks like we've kind of stumbled upon quite a bit of mud and water, so is there a better way? It looks like this road kind of goes around it, so we're going to take this and kind of avoid that water for now. Uh, this truck ain't quite equipped to go through all that yet, so it's even struggling right now in this mud. Oh, come on. Put her in low gear. Just crawl on out of it. Come on. Keep going. Oh, turn this way a little bit. You gotta kind of turn your wheel back and forth a little bit. Break up that mud a little bit. Get it out from under your tires. Keep those tires moving. Uh, we're gonna shoot back over to some of this. It looks like we're just slow crawling for right now. Um, hopefully we will get out of this here pretty soon. All right, it looks like we kind of came up out of it. The mud physics is really nice. I mean, we started out with a nice, brand new, clean truck and now it's just filthy covered in mud so not only do you sink in the mud but it, they also added in physics to where it kind of sprays all over the side and gets your truck nice and dirty um looks like we come across some sort of care package thing so we're gonna hit that and see what's all in there so this care package looks like it's kind of we're still in parts out of this old uh car right here upgrade location so let's see get upgrade so it looks like it's a lift kit, but it's not available for this truck. That's kind of a bummer, but hopefully we'll find some that are available for this truck and go get those later down the road. All right, guys, so it looks like we've hit our garage. It looks like it's an old oil uh, refinery plant or gas station of some sort, but it looks like there's also a new vehicle here. Garage discovery, you have discovered your first garage. What you've done so far is the meat of the game. Explore and discover watchtowers, complete contracts, and rewards, and find garages to improve or buy a new vehicle. Now let's get inside. All right, so we're gonna drive up over here. Garage discovered. Looks like we've got some rewards for that. Looks like we've got 3,850 in the bank right now. So let's move to garage. Now see all the customizations we can do. The garage is used to store, upgrade, customize, buy, and sell vehicles, but also for traveling to other regions. You'll have to find a garage in the location to unlock and use it. Not every location has a garage in it, so be sure to keep in mind where your closest garage is. You'll have to complete everything in your current location before moving on to the next. So let's see what customizations we got. Looks like we got some engine customization. Looks like this is what we have equipped. Looks like we can go on and get a pretty a 5.2 put in it and V8 right now we're rocking a V6 uh, power to weight will be a minus at that point let's see what we got for gearbox so this would be for snow it looks like snow runner obviously so this is pretty much just more gears or less gears for some low gear range to kind of keep uh, the durability going suspension this is where the raised and lowered suspension will come in it looks like you can see up in the top there explore michigan north america find this item so it looks like this lift kit will be over here in the region we're in right now so we'll go and find that tires this is what i'm talking about where we can get the 31s we can even get the 35s going on looks like we'd need to get a bigger lift kit to kind of get some of these bigger tires put on winch it looks like you can probably get a winch that uh, will go a little bit further, all that stuff. Diff lock, unlocked. We already have four wheel drive. Snorkel. So this is for the water areas, kind of make sure your engine doesn't get flooded, all that stuff. Now let's see what frame add-ons we got. A small roof rack, repair supplies. So this, so these scouts pretty much, they're just like travel vehicles. Like, you, like it says, scout, it's a scouting vehicle, so. You're gonna have these roof racks for repair supplies and stuff to uh, put stuff to put on there so that way if you damage something while you're out driving around looking for stuff you can repair your vehicle looks like we got some upgrades visual stuff to kind of make the vehicle look a little bit better looks like we got tow loops I don't really think I think this is all just uh, 
this is all just kind of cosmetic looks not really interested so here's kind of the paint I kind of like the stock blue with the white with the kind of pinstripings on it oh they do got other ones that have it so this is kind of the stock one we have right now I kind of like this one a lot but I think right now we're gonna save our money we're not gonna get any of the little accessories or anything like that we're just gonna leave this the way it is um, I think this is gonna be a good spot to end the video guys next video we'll travel a little bit complete more of those contracts right now though we found our garage we built a bridge so i think we're doing pretty good next video we'll see what else we'll get into i know they have like the obstacles in the road some of those you can clear out via contracts and then there's more br bridges you can build stuff like that and then hopefully next video we might even be able to get into one of those new areas kind of explore that so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe um and then we'll see you guys next time